big screen. Looking all right. Cool. How are you folks doing tonight? Start good and proper, and then miss some of the intro stuff. God, I have like a little pint of Ben and Jerry's right now, and this is just the best. I guess I can start, and people may trickle in as we begin. <laughs> so, yes, this is a new game, Sunless Sea. I have played this game exactly once to make sure it worked on the computer. And yeah, it works just fine. So now it's just a matter of Getting it to, uh, yeah, getting into it. So, we'll just, I guess, step right in. New game. Yes. So, I know very little and what I'm supposed to do, but here's the basic premise of the game. You are a ship captain. On the vast Z. I'm not mispronouncing it, it's literally called the Z. You are underneath the surface of the world. And we start in Fall of London. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. Dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but opened up a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Unthrosy. And now we get to do some stuff with our, uh, with our past. We could just ignore it for now and do something later. I'm pretty sure that there's an achievement for beating the game while not having any backstory, but let's just take a past. So now, we basically get to pick one of our paths, and then we'll boost one of our main stats. These stats are <clears throat> Iron, Damage Output, Mirrors, Detection, Perception, which is the quicker your rate of fire is for your uh, weapons, Veils, Speed, Stealth, Deception, which is, hey, you can't see me when you're trying to get the hell away from an enemy. Uh, pages, which is how quickly you level up. It's actually one of the more important stats, to my knowledge. And hearts, which is, uh... I, I, I don't actually know what hearts does. I think it's max HP and reduces terror gain, which, so that's nice. I just haven't been able to use it all that much yet. <laughs> Alright. So of these choices, I think damage is always nice, but Shiro! Good to see ya. We're playing a new game today. How you doing? <laughs> uh, let's see. I do like veils because I'd rather not get spotted by a big bad enemy when I'm not ready for them. 
And yes, this is Sunless Sea, where we are under the surface of the world, and now there's an ocean for us to explore. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with Street Archer. Ah, oh, right, that gives us a companion along with us. Uh, 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 along with us. <laughs> Some echoes, which are basically our money, our companion. Again, it basically doubles our veils. And someone is looking for passage. Oh dear, someone is messaging me. Gonna ignore that for now. Okay, so this is where we basically get to choose our victory condition for the game. There are a couple of these that we can choose from. Some are locked, and so you can get it later. And there's actually another hidden one that you can find later as well. So, now, I want to explain. Basically, Father's Bones is the story mode of the game. You never knew him. You just try to find his bones, and you, I think there's a whole story to go along with doing it. Immortality, to my knowledge, is story mode 2, but it's slightly harder. Because there's apparently a land where everyone there has lived forever. Fulfillment, you go around collecting a bunch of stories in the sea. When you get 100, you win. Wealth, if you want to be a merchant, and just get a nice house. <laughs> just a massive ton of wealth and just be fine with it. And the private kingdom is one of the ones that you have, can switch to later, which is basically, hey, you're going to just have your own land and just vibe with it. I want to try and get that at some point. That seems like a lot of fun. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to go with Father's Bones. Because, uh, quite frankly, I want to have at least some semblance of knowing what the story is like in this game before I go off on just merchant mercantile adventures. <sighs> Hold on, I'm getting like texted by my father. Pardon me. <laughs> uh, He's asking how my test went, <laughs> and for the record, it went fine. I'm quite happy with how I did. Uh. Alright, so that's done. So, we want to find his bones, bring them back, give him a proper burial. Can I not move this thing? Okay, unfortunately not. Uh, hey, what do we want to be addressed as? Uh, <laughs> milady. Now we're gonna go with captain. It's easy enough. And now we get to pick what do we look like. What silhouette we'll use. It's a lot of fun ones. <laughs> that one has some character. Could be a scholarly folk. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Loves hair. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this man looks like he's straight out of, like, downtown. <laughs> well, we did pick, uh... Street Urchin as our background, so maybe that is a good one. We just read all of his interactions in a Brooklyn accent. Hey, walk in here. This man just looks like a villain. Or is that a mask? I think it might be a mask. Whatever, we'll go with Mr. Top Hat because his hair is cool. And we are going to be Captain... I mean, Captain Cod, of course. Yep. So currently, we've got basically no leads on where our dad's bones are. <laughs> So, we want to meet with Slivy, an urchin who speaks to the wind. Because, you know, those make the most reliable sources of information. And we're going to ask him about it. Because he mentioned our father in a passing conversation we had. Now, he's always troubled with his tongue. He basically speaks in a stutter and it's hard to understand him, unless you get him drunk. So he's in, this is your first fetch quest of the game. Hey, 
go grab me some wine, and I can tell you about your dad. So it wants us to go to Wither and bring back Mooter Salts for him. And now we're here. This is where we get to make our first set of decisions on what we want to do. <clears throat> so this is just telling, restating what you need to do for this. We have DLC for this, the Zamariner one, where we get to get a submarine at some point and go under the water. So that's fun. This tutorial stuff, we can go back home. And someone on the docks wants to board our ship. We'll talk to this one first. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this travel writer wants to go to Gators Moor. I have no idea where that is, but sure. Uh, do do do. He wants to pay handsomely for our transport. And what, what are you looking for? Hmm. No need to trouble yourselves. Gators Moor. Pay you 150 echoes when we arrive. That's a pretty chunk of cash. So I'm kind of reluctant because I don't think he's actually going to give it to me. <laughs> but heck, if he does, I'll be pretty sick. London is where we can do all the things related to this place. Uh, let's see, we can adopt a Galavanner. This is because of the DLC, actually. And now, first off, I can show you the officers. So currently, we have six officer positions that can be filled. First officer, cook, chief engineer, gunnery officer, mascot, and surgeon. Currently, we start with the comatose ferret. <laughs> Which, I don't know really what to say about that. It gives plus one hearts. And from our background, we have the gunnery officer. Who boosts our iron by one, and is just... Nice, nice gal. We can actually talk to them. And all of them actually have a personal quest line. I don't think the mascots do, but at least all of the people ones do. Uh, you can essentially talk to the different officers to level up your stats with enough secrets, which will fill up when this bar is, you know, filled. <laughs> Excuse me. We can have a chat with her, what she's looking for. She's looking for Khan's shadow. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hmm. Come shadows east of Connie proper. Okay, so she wants us to take her to whatever Con shadow is. That's what the first step of her path. Also, tell me if you want me to like voice act for the different characters, because <laughs> I can do that if you want. Hmm. The Admiralty Service Office is where we actually turn in reports for when we visit other places, and they pay us for that. Um, we could hire more crew with some echoes, but we already have a pretty full crew. You can put your ship in dry dock for repairs. Offer passage to a tomb colonist. Okay, so we will accept this. Because they want us to bring us... This is basically another transport. They want us to bring us to Wither. Drop them off. And then they will pay us. Or something along those lines. Uh, we can actually also... Go back to our house. Our lodgings. We can read in the morning papers. To get recent news. On what's up in London. And there is also a promotional coupon that gave us some extra supplies, so that's nice. <laughs> hmm. uh, there's something else we can actually do here for the moment. Yeah, we can't get the new recruit yet. And yeah, this is how we start. We are in London. Ready to launch into the under Z. Alright, I've also like done a big number on this ice cream, so I'm going to put it away quick before I start. Uh, how do I pause this? Yeah, space to pause the game, because hunger goes up even if you're standing completely still doing nothing.
finish up this ice cream and I'll put this away. All right, I'm back. So, let's see. We will unpause, and first, I think we're gonna go to the north of ways, because I'm pretty sure that's where Wither is. And now, E to launch. Okay, controls are a little bit weird. You use up and down to uh, change the speed, and then left and right to actually steer the vessel. Ah, uh, now the music kicks in. So as you can see, we keep on discovering things as we're, we start going by. And that gives us the EXP to actually level up. Whenever this bar fills, we get a secret. And then we can level up one of our stats by talking to crew members or other things. So this is our first stop. You can see this little glowing circle. We can dock here. because of our high-ass veils. So we'll do that first. Oof. Okay. <laughs> so we, we can see the sisters that are just in the house. Soon, she says, the piano and music falters and stops. We'll go hungry, and the end will come for me, but not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush, if we don't speak of it. She frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. So the sisters aren't of the same race. It's something I've pieced together so far. One of them has to worry about going hungry. Another does not. And now, uh, might as well, actually, let's do whatever this is. Oh, this is how we get the port reports of the different islands. I wasn't sure what this <laughs> that did. Now we can present ourselves to the house. Hmm. Okay, cool. And now we can chat with one of the three sisters. We have the melancholy, pensive, and sometimes dramatic sister. We have a sunny, restless, and prone to giggle. And soft-voiced, Watchful, unpredictable. Uh, I'm pretty sure the middle one reduces terror, but we currently have zero. So we're going to talk with the eldest. And they're going to give us one terror, a tale of terror, which is something that we can actually use, some supplies, and they fed us. So that's nice. And we have attracted one of the gods of disease attention, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, or a good thing. It, they're just kind of there. Don't worry about it. We can also give them some of the news from London to uh, have a chat with one another one, but I don't think we need to right now. So we will launch again with some new supplies in tow. Also, the main two resources you have to worry about fuel, and supplies. 
Also, fuel goes down much slower when you have your light off. However, it'll make your terror go up faster, so it's a bit of a trade-off. So now we can just... Ooh, new music. The Z-Bat just scans for islands nearby, so that's cool. New location. something over there. It's in those ship. Okay, let's not bother that. Stag. That's a crab or some sort over there. Oh, and here we go. Vendor Blight Port. So if we help them out, we'll be a little bit suspicious, or we could just discreetly drop them off at the end of the dock and not help them. We are a good person, even if we're doing something slightly illicit, so we will help. And now, we brought a criminal to Vendor Bright. Uh, so that's, you know, not the best thing to have done. <laughs> Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, we slipped them past the uh, checkpoint. And then they gave us hush money. So they gave us one more veil, so that's nice. And 200 echoes. We also got one menace suspicion because we've conducted a minor criminal activity. And we've dropped them off now, officially. Pretty good, I'd say. 200 echoes, not bad at all. What else is there to do in the Tomb Colony? We could assist a specialized collector. Can't do that yet. A weak man calls for help. Uh, we don't have whatever we need to help him. We don't have enough terror for this. Explore Vendor Bite. There we go. Uh, the curator gives audience. Hmm. I think this is talking to the person in charge. Gather gossip. That gives us our port report. So I always do that. Uh, can't do anything about this. Huh. Okay, that's an interesting thing. Later we can come back. Give up a bunch of supplies to take a bunch of tomb colonists to different locations. And we'll get something out of that, I suppose. We will explore Bender Bright, see what we get. A ragged fellow. Captain, I'm a good Z-man. I'm yours if you'll have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I work hard. He seems likely enough, if a bit ragged and sorrow sorrowful. So we take him with us. We get one more crew member. Always nice. We could leave him here if we don't believe we can do it. Or we could pay for his passage home. But why would we do that? That's 250 gold and we barely have enough to even pay for it. So we'll just take him on. And now we have a ninth crew member. Uh, He's keeping a little shrine to salt. One of the nameless gods of the horizon. And there's no real reason to say no to that. Hmm. 
Okay, so that is another thing that draw the gods' attention, but to my knowledge, this is a pretty harmless one, though there are others who might do things that aren't so harmless. Alright, is there anything else we need to do here? We can talk with the curator, sure. Hmm, he's a silk skin, okay, yeah, he has leprosy. Not much left of me. I'll die eventually. And he wants us to bring him seven colors. This is actually a really good quest because I believe you get paid a lot for each of the colors you bring him. So we accept that. After that. Oh, actually, we did. that's accepting. Uh, so we accept this. There we go. We need to collect these seven colors from different places around the world. And we'll get paid a lot for that. I don't think there's anything else to talk about for him at the moment. We could ask about this. But, uh... Whatever this grand sanatorium place, it's basically... Oh, you don't want to know. Oh. Okay, that's morbid. They don't die here, even though they're deadly and diseased. They need something else to kill them, and apparently whatever does that is in the Grand Sanatorium. So that's fun! Okay, I think that's enough of this place. And now, we depart once more. Up now... I think there are two more islands we want to visit up here. And then afterwards, we might take a quick trip back to London, so I can show you what happens when we drop off the reports we gathered. How do I access the map? Here's the map. So, so far, we start at London, and here we are. Oh dear. That's that's an enemy. Just turn your lights off. We have high veils, they might not see us. Alright, we have the bell, so next time we will be able to land and get something out of it. Ooh, what the hell is this? Uh, a Xandler has grown fe fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go in debt, even in port. There's a white Z-Bat watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got his eye on me. I'll never see home again. Okay, so this seems like a dangerous thing to do. So we could order him back up to deck. We could let him rest, which I think I'm going to do. Or we could try shooting the bat. I, if it's actually God's messenger, I don't think it's a good idea to do that. So we're just going to, we, we're going to respect him and we're going to let him let, be down there. And uh, the sailor is grateful. And then once the bat's gone, he's alright with just going back, and we lost a little bit of terror because of that. Nice. And now we have Andergard Harbor, and we will park in here, which is part of Wither. I don't remember this place. I don't think I saw this during my time playing. Uh... Wither. So first off, we can explore the town, see what we find. An intriguing smell. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. I I wouldn't try eating these. It might not, it might have some ill effects, in a word. And do you have anything more robust? The vendor winks and produces a usefully anonymous skewer of meat. Unaccountably, that's human meat. That's human meat. That that you don't pick that option. And hopefully you never get unaccountably peckish, so that means you've probably done it with by accident. <laughs> and we'll try whatever this is. Some food, we lose some terror, gain a fragment, lost hunger. All in all, pretty good. What else is there to do in Wither? Uh... Okay, so this seems like something that reduces our terror, but we don't have that much. And 50 is kind of a lot to pay for terror reduction when we already have pretty little. So we'll gather some intel, make a port report, and we'll see what the house of question is. Northwest of Withertown, the house of question stands alone. Here, the initiates of this house make offerings to the three gods of the Deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god. It's the one place in Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer, for a price. Gaining the attention of a god is useful chiefly for lifting curses, and I don't believe we have any curses at the moment. Okay. So, you could gain one of these gods' attention. I don't believe Salt is here because we already have his attention. Welcome, X Games. Good to see ya. Or we could just be a terrible, make a terrible decision, defy the gods, spit on the floor, and boost our uh, stats a little bit, but we'll never be able to lift any of their curses. So, uh, no, I don't think I'll do that. Alright, now we'll depart from Wither, and there should be another hmm. I thought there might be another place we could dock nearby, maybe I'm wrong. Alright, this is a place. Codex is some distance to the south. Yeah, here we go. Wither is the Isle of Questions. This is the Isle of Answers. Essentially, you're only allowed to speak in questions in Wither. If you give an answer, you're exiled to Codex, where everyone speaks of, an of answers without having any question asked. Our light is up, so we should be able to get something when we park ourselves in here. The Isle of Codex. Oh yeah, I forgot. Everyone here took a vow of silence, too. <laughs> Mute exiles. Hmm. Oh, we need a submarine for this. A doomed monster hunter. We need a searing enigma to be able to unlock this. And a port report. As used as a key without a lock. Alright. Well, we're here right now. We need to make our way back to London. So maybe we'll take a straight path down, get some of this other black area just mapped out. And we gotta be careful to avoid unnecessary encounters. 
like whatever the hell is floating the fog over here. I see you, you bastard. You're not sneaky. Or that one. Oh, that was close. Okay. We gotta be a little bit careful because we're kind of running low on fuel. But we also use a lot less fuel when we're not actually uh, using our light. So we'll probably be fine. Fuck off! Ow! How am I supposed to... Uh. Okay, whatever. We're back here. I'm gonna take a quick peek in. <laughs> I don't like those guys. <laughs> to be honest, I just, I just think I'm pretty bad at fighting general. Yeah, I saw the bats here. I'm just bad at fighting them. Supplies are woefully overpriced here. We can sell the recent news, so we'll just do that, I guess. Uh, hmm. uh, we will buy... two fuel for the way home, just... So we're not, like, in super danger. <laughs> I, I'm not very good at fighting. I believe that's a friendly vessel. Never mind. Oh, what the fuck? How do I... Alright, this probably isn't a combat I should be engaging in. Stay on your ass, can you not hit me? Get me beamed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was much better than the bats. The ship is yours, what will you do with her? Loot and scuttle her. Uh, lean pickings. Yeah, they don't go very far, but we have something. A stout crate. And we have... Ah, it's just a crate. Two supplies. Okay, we won't complain about that. <laughs> it seems like the way to <laughs> deal with other ships is just to stay on their ass. Which, you know what? Fair enough, Con. We're almost home, anyway. Alright, when that song starts playing, it means you're basically back at London.
welcome back to London. Uh, we're not carrying any illicit goods. So they should just be able to, uh, That will lower our, how suspicious we are if it's 5 plus, but we're not really that suspicious yet, so it does nothing. It's a relatively random event of when it, the day changes, but someone wants to sign on to our vessel. We have a f little bit of free time if we want to do something to reduce our terror. Ooh, consider a special surgeon. She is a doctor who uses hearts and brain. For only 30 echoes, that's steel. our officers and a surgeon. An expert in amputations. Also, we're going to switch to this bed because it needs a little bit better. Yeah. She works with two scalpels at a time. Or with a scalpel and a tanned instrument. Having open flesh, she's working on. Her operations are brisk and yield very little blood. So she's actually very good at what she does. We could dine with her to start something. We could talk about her eye, the one she's covering, I assume. Or if we had enough pages, we could use her to increase our hearts. So that's nice. Uh, okay. Wait, didn't mean to do that. No, no, how do I? Back to you. Uh... We still have what the contact wants, we need muter salt. Uh, we, we could have gotten that with her, but I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, but otherwise... London, what do you got here? We can now visit the Admiral's service off the survey office and turn in all those reports that we gathered when we visited the different places. So, Hunter's Keep is right around the corner, so they only pay us five echoes for that. They gave us a little bit of favor, and more importantly, they gave us a free bit of fuel, which is like 20, uh, 20 each, so that's pretty nice. Vendor Bite, 10 echoes, more fuel. You only get the favors the first time you go there, I believe. Uh, Wither, 20 echoes. Codex, also 20. Uh, we can ask them about what they want. Which we do when we have enough favor. So we can see what they want. Hmm. We can exchange one favor for two to three fuel. We could submit vital intelligence, we don't have any of that yet. Submit port reports, we already did that. And... Is there anything particular he needs? We can get a commission from him. Hmm. He wants us to retrieve strategic information from the Empire of Hands far to the east. We have no idea where that is. Also, hello, Rage Quit. Nice to see ya. Uh, can't ask what he needs. Information, that's just as basic. You know, that's what we're looking for here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming the opposite side of the map east. <laughs> have you played the game before, Rage Quit?
Ah, I see. <laughs> Maybe you can be my little side captain. <laughs> Give me a little bit of a pointer here and there of where the hell I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> uh, we can vibe in the docks to reduce some terror and possibly something else. I don't know. We don't need more crew. <laughs> that's fair enough, that's fair enough. At least tell- you can at least warn me if I'm about to be heading towards certain death. <laughs> like that floating island that seems to move around on its own. We don't talk about it. Uh, we can try... Uh, university. We need to give up one secret to go in here. We gained a page for it, which, you know, pretty good deal. And now we can give stuff to this lad later, but we don't actually need anything. Also, we have no idea if it's a lad or a lass. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wharf. Uh, we could refresh the shops, but we barely have any money to begin with, so what's the point? We could sell our beginner's guide. Oh, fuel is only 10 here. Don't mind me, I'll stock up on that. And that. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Uh, these are some trade goods that we could sell at other places, but... Don't really need that right now. Torpedo stuff. The gun we already have. Higher tier weapons that we can't use yet. Higher tier engines that we can't use yet. And these better lamps. Interesting. Okay, well, we don't need anything from here yet. Uh, our cargo is basically just fuel and supplies. But we can worry about actually transporting trade goods when we have a better ship that has more cargo. What else is there to do? London. We can reduce some terror here with 10 echoes. Yeah, sure. Lost three, terror, lost ten echoes, and we unfortunately did not win. And we also got some recent news, so that's nice. Put it in dry dock for some repairs. We don't actually have enough money for the better shipyard. Oh dear, this it actually costs quite a bit. Hmm. So we can just actually give them some supplies in exchange for uh, repair. Okay, fine. Eleven hull. We gain terror. They, five? Ah. Okay. Not the greatest. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't great. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, that was... That was a little bit sad. Go to my lodgings. Uh, hmm. Alright, well, I guess we'll just sleep a little bit. And... Ah! 
<laughs> of not to trust those fuckers. <laughs> south. Wait. Wait, fuck. This is like all... <laughs> this is all like... Let's go to Hunter's Point and get some free food. and lost all of that hunger. Also got the attention of Stone, which mildly concerning, but very frankly, don't know what it does, so I don't have to worry about it. And we will also just pull the board. And we go. And yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're correct. It's a pirate ship. Fuck. Okay. Let's get the shit out of me. Fuck. Give us 150 echoes. He wasn't lying, but it's okay. That's nice. By the evening now, the lad comes back with a briefcase in hand. Relatively peacefully, with brawls. Oh, 
win all good fun. Blood washed away the celebratory beer. I'm sure that there's something up with this that's bad, but why not? Where do you want it? Kumian Canal. It's not like it cost me anything to have you aboard. At least, not yet. We don't have much terror, so there's no reason to really mess with this. We can explore the more, which is probably a good thing to try. Over here, this gives us a port report, I think. Ah. Never mind, that's not anything. This is gathering intelligence. Oh hey, we actually pulled it off. So now we have a port report for this place. And we can explore. Oh, it's this guy again. Lose some terror. Lose a tiny bit of hunger, gain a fragment. Oh well. Uh, hmm. Okay. Any shops here? Overpriced shit. And you can sell illegal stuff here, it seems. Red honey. Seems very pricey, but very illegal. We can use this to conceal contraband, I assume if you want to go back to London. Visited. We go. Hmm. This place is pretty cool, though. Hmm. Running a tiny bit low on supplies. Turn about, try and go back towards the uh, southern western side. Ooh. Ooh. Don't think I want to fuck with that guy. but I did not like it.
more fog. Bit of terror reduction for 20 echoes, no thanks. Explore the shore. Yeah. A castaway. We could try to help her. Oh! It is? Ah, uh, hold on, let me turn it down a little bit. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Yeah, well... Coin's okay. No complaints. <laughs> from home? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm going to assume this is a random spawn point, but it just happened to spawn literally right next to London. <laughs> Lost me five terror, nice. Just recent news for that. And they gave us a Z story. Nice. Don't you worry, dearie. Please get your rest. 
I still think that's hilarious that <laughs> the ship is literally right outside of London. It longs for news from of home. <laughs> I wonder if that randomly changes places. Ah, I see you have work to do. Okay. Make sure you rest after that, okay, Cole? First, let's drop by the Admiralty. Some of my port reports. It is more than 30 echoes, some favor, and fuel. Hunter's Keep, free fuel. Quaker's Haven, five echoes, favor, fuel. Done. There's nothing else we need from them. Uh, we can try to lower our terror. 14 terror? Yeah. Mm. Then that goes. Yeah. Fortunate. I think I just changed the amount of terror I lose. But either way, losing 5 terror for 10 echoes, pretty good. I've had worse deals. Hmm. I like the vans. Lose a little bit of extra terror. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hello, frog. Good to see ya. <laughs> and it seems that I had a little one night stand with a random woman. And she gave us a locket. How nice. Tattoo parlor. Yeah, these last forever. It's a permanent stat upgrade you can get once and the terror reduction of 25. Hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. So, we will probably get Daunt Dauntless Hand eventually, but I don't want it just yet. Governor wants a word. I have need of a reliable agent. Hmm. He'll pay better than market rates, so probably means it's illegal. <laughs> So, he wants us to give 
and one of these two things. Seven Zoops from Mount Palmerston or 21 bolts of cider silk. Fifteen hundred for the first, one thousand for the second. Interesting. Okay. Once I get enough money to actually pull it off, that's probably a good deal. Itself. Seems we've done mostly everything. Oh, a new recruit who awaits my attention. Hmm. A real physician. We already have a physician, to my knowledge. Yeah. Oh, wait, how do I? I've been told that this folk is pretty interesting. Hearts and iron. We already have someone who does that. Well, I guess we'll just get a free sailor. Or five echoes for a sailor. And it loses one terror. Okay, not bad. <clears throat> I don't think we have anything for the alarm. Oh, we can give him a Z story. What does that do? Or what is that? We lose a Z story. We gain tech out 10 echoes. And his favor with us is increasing a little bit. I don't know what happens. But maybe that's a good thing. Okay, go to the shop. We need some supplies. Uh, to do right now. So now, look at the map. Got a nice little loop down here. I think we're gonna go down this time. <sighs> see what the Z down there has to offer. Doot. Doot. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Almost forgot. There's something else here. Outside of London. How do we get back to that? Uh, where's the guy with the knife? Is that gone? Eh, oh well.
waters. Achievement for that, apparently. I have a sweetheart in London. Nice. And I'm pretty sure the other lab want to come to the Cumulian Canal for the 150 echoes, so that's pretty nice. Though I definitely feel like he's doing something illegal. We're probably gonna get in trouble for transporting him. But. Okay. Khan's heart. And our other one wants to go to Khan's shadow. We're also going to quickly listen for surface gossip. Vision of the surface. Everybody's always looking for that. Gather a port report. And if we had enough stuff, we could go to the surface. That's pretty cool. Let's... We could have a chat over some provisions. I don't think we're going to do that right now. Uh, yeah. We're going to go a little bit further south because we really haven't hit all that many islands yet. Jellyfish. Alright. No desire to fight something that's faster than me. Doom. Cool.
hell's client state? Their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Interesting. Irresponsible cannoneer. <laughs> I love this man. He's just, he seems very excitable. Irrepressible, pardon me. Look. If your gunners aren't irresponsible, you're not doing it right. Welcome aboard, motherfucker. Officers. Plus eight iron. Yes, definitely better than a plus one. <laughs> Cheery enthusiasm is a welcome, but unnerving trait in a gunner. <laughs> Understandable. And now here we can spend secrets to improve our stats. We could do it for iron. So, let's use our stats for that. We probably shouldn't have the Invictus token, I'm be real. Recent news, good to have. Uh, rest one night. There. What was I looking for again? Where are secrets? What are secrets look like? Why can I see my secrets? Oh, right there, I'm done. We have four secrets right now. So we could spend one of those to upgrade our iron a little bit. And you know what? I want to get to a flat 40 iron. Sure. So we'll speak to you. Lo lose one secret, gain one iron. Nice. Our stats are looking pretty decent right now. 40 iron, 28 mirrors, 51 veils, 28 pages, and 31 hearts. Not bad, not bad. I'm not sure what else you can use secrets for, so I'm going to keep the other three for now. Market of Humbles. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. So, we got a port port of iron public. We gained two pages from that! Yo! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh dear, Dragoon. That definitely sounds like one hell of a defensive maneuver. <laughs> Memory of Distant Shores. Tale of Terror. This is sick. That was a really good find. Hmm. We can try to fund someone's project to make a really interesting weapon, but it needs some weird materials. Uh, market hungers. Fuel is cheaper here. Let's buy some of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, look at our hungers. Gain some terror, gain a fragment. Black. And now the House of Pleasures is open. We could buy parabola linen, but I'm not sure where we'd even what we'd even do with that. So you know what? We're gonna buy one. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a place to sell it. It costs fifty-seven to get that, and we're looking for a place to sell that is better. What do you want to do? 
Right now, we are decent in supplies and fuel, so what if we do like a little loop upwards? I like that. Terror's fine. Decent supplies. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Worst case scenario, we find a not very friendly ship and we uh, hightail the hell out of there. I don't really want to go any further into that fog at the moment. snares region. Not super fond of finding out whatever the hell's in there. Except there's a huge island right here, so we're gonna take a peek. Crab cake! Cool. Let's get the fuck out of there. Uh... Gain some terror, get a tale of terror. They took two Harekos. <laughs> okay. Could be worse. These this restores a pitiful amount of terror. So now. Got a wretched mog for three of those. Chat to fishermen for a port report. Basically a free fuel. And we are on our way again. What if I can kill that crab? I can't 
or put you for supplies. Sure, I'll take the bullets. Some fragments. Oh, don't bump into that. Alright, well. Realistically, probably should have gone for the supplies there. It's actually just friendly. If it was pirate, I was gonna try and take its ass out. There's another one of those fucking. Mm. Thank you, veils, and this little bit of fog. I was hoping that would give us an actual supply thing, and not just take out the current hunger. Oh well. You love, you learn. This is really just the best place this thing could be, like, holy shit. I get to go from London to here, just drop off the news, reduce terror by five, get a free Z story. It doesn't, it doesn't normally spawn there, right? It's just luck. Because <laughs> I know that this, the map is semi-randomly generated. Yeah, the light ship. It's always right outside of London? The way they phrase it makes it seem like it's supposed to be, like, really far away. Messages from the Harvard Minister. Something's changed beneath a new day. Here we go, a little gift. This is what it's looking for.
Alright, we have a decent amount of terror. We'll do the tattoo thing now. And we will up our iron by a little bit. Cool. I think that's quite worth it. <laughs> There's no reason to spend stuff on this. Recruit. Adventurous. A gunnery officer. No, we already have one. Sorry, man. Maybe's daughter. An engineer. Iron, veils, and engine power. Yeah, sure. We will add you. Engine power plus 100. That sounds good. I'm told the engine and efficiency is better, but eh, I ain't gonna complain. Mm. Alright, we're not gonna buy any fuel yet because we have stuff to do with stuff turning in in the Admiralty. So, the canal, five echoes, Iron Republic. Ten echoes. <laughs> right, weird shit happens to the Iron Republic reports. <gasps> I'm pretty sure they can spontaneously combust, too. Quaker's Haven. A little bit of fuel. There gets you two to three fuel. Okay. Dry dock. Uh, we know not to deal with these fuckers. Admiralty Yards. Completely repairs the hull for 25. Though that uses up for favors. And I think we're going to leave that be for now. Uh, hmm. How much does that put? 17 fuel. Jesus fuck. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of stuff. We need, hmm, okay. Wait. I think I actually need to sell something. Okay, first off, we can sell this here. It's only three echoes more, but we'll sell it, because we kind of need to make a little bit of room. Awkward. Okay, and now we should be able to get that thing they were talking about from the guy. The dude man. Oh, we have a free evening. What? I guess we'll just 
five. Maybe we'll do some. Oh yeah, we got recent news. And we get to visit the likely lass. Nice. Okay. Now that should be everything. We outie. Uh okay, let's think. We need to go up to Vendor Bite to get the thing. The thing. Uh, what's the thing? I'm forgetting what the thing is. The Muter Salt. The Muter Salt actually progressed the story. <laughs> so we'll grab that, maybe go a little bit of a weird way to the, to the east from Vendor Bite. See if we can discover an island or two. And of course we'll hit all the usual keeps on the way up there to try and uh, get some stuff for the way back. have a kid now. And we're trying to ship the fuck around. We are going to make one quick stop at Hunter's Keep and we're going to go see our kid. We will have a chat with the uh, Phoebe. Memory of distant shores, some supplies, lost hunger. Now we have all three gods' attentions, which I still don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But we're gonna go look at our kid. So I would need to improve my lodgings. How do I do that? Purchase an elegant townhouse for a thousand echoes, fuck. Okay. 
So a thousand echoes is now the goal to get a house for our kit. Oh, we still. Okay. So yeah, that's really it. We gotta improve our place. <laughs> that's a little bit of an oof, but okay. Don't worry about it. Get like one feel. And might as well just turn in that one port report. Do I not have any? Oh, I didn't get a poor report, I guess. Okay, going back up to Venderbite, we're gonna go to the east once we get there. How are I gonna get a thousand echoes? That's kinda rough, not gonna lie. Getting a little bit better at ship versus ship combat, though ship versus monster combat's still kind of rough. Where are we? Right, right near Venderbite. We have news from the service, and apparently that's worth something here. So we'll be sure to drop that off. Hey, we actually made that challenge, 33%. Okay, let's start free and we got free fuel. Cool. Someone's looking for our attention since we have air.
Oh. Ooh, interesting. The tomb colonist is her father. So we know about her father. We could tell her that, or we could keep it a secret. Let's see what that looks like. I guess it's something that we should probably talk to her once normally before telling her. Hmm. Sell distant news here. Oh, we can sell the vision of the surface. Cool. Sell recent news, but that's worth more elsewhere. Memory of distant shores we can sell here too, but I'd rather save that for something. Uh, yeah, let's go straight to the east. Find, see what we find there. Some Z bats over there. Maybe I can. Apparently not. I have my regrets. Z bat flies. Go. See another light down there. Shit, fucking hell, what the fuck? I wonder if we can kill this thing if we can't fog. My veils? What if I just stay right on his ass? Wait. <laughs> Wait, did it get stuck? <laughs>
Holy shit, we got it. Woo! That was scary as shit. Fucking hell. We can rescue a pirate poet. Or salvage. The yeah, we'll rescue the poet. Holy shit, 400 echoes. Oh, fuck. Definitely worth it, that'll cover the cost of repairs. Jesus Christ, though, that was scary as hell. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna... I think it's safe to say it's best that we head, head on home. Taking a bit of a beating. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was a risk, but it paid off. Yeah, let's have, let's have a chat. Can increase veils with you. Have a sweetheart. You increase iron. You increase hearts. I need to talk with her once for that, I think. More iron it is. Uh, exchanging some of those Admiral's favors to fix up. That did give us a huge chunk of money, though. So that's pretty nice. Quick visit to the uh, that uh, little light light island to get ourselves a free Z story. Park my ass in port. 
Hell yeah. Oh no, Star, what's up? Okay, we got the business story time to do. Cool. I think that's far to the north. Okay, fuck. Don't want to come back to London until those are out of my inventory. Uh, okay. Go to the Admiralty. We will... Excuse me. Submit the port reports that we do have. Get a little bit... Dry dog. We are doing the animals yards. Give us that full deal. 25 echoes. Three of our favors. We have six. Boom. Full HP. Hell yeah. 24 echoes. It was not even. Awesome. 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 Sigil Ridden Navigator. So it looks like he's a little bit mad. Uh, navigator. What are navigators? Are they first officers? First officer who increases mirrors and veils. We have a lot of those, but you know what? Sure. It's only 50 echoes. Who am I to say now? You definitely look like a bad guy. Hmm. But I'm not going to turn down 60 veils. Hmm. <laughs> a bit concerned about interacting with him. Uh... Hmm. We can exchange stories. Why not? I'm not sure what happens when we have favors with them. But it can't be a bad thing. It gives us a little bit of money. Okay. So, currently, we need some supplies. There we go. Ten supplies. Buy extra fuel for ten. Alright, two more. Uh, nothing here we're going to need. If we're going to Mount Palmerston, if we're going to Mount Palmerston, maybe we'll buy a couple of casts of mushroom wine to sell. Five. Okay. And we bought those for how much? We bought those for 21. So we want to sell them for above 21. We could also buy better guns eventually. Actually, pretty good. I kind of want that. Cool. 
Cool, we have a better weapon now. I was supposed to be saving that money, but it's alright. <laughs> alright. Plan. We have kind of a lot of terror. So we're going to stop by the, uh... Okay, first off, I kind of fucked up because I didn't do some of the things I should have done in town to reduce that terror. Well, put it, this, put it like this. I'm buying the gun so I can get housing for the kid faster. Because I gotta do some other jobs first before I can get a decent house. So, I'd like it if it gave me the bell so I can stop by Hunter's Keep and reduce my terror, please. That is certainly one way to obtain a house. I don't have a cook yet. Okay, anyway. That was that. How does the repair ship ability work? It says it's available if my hull is 50% or higher. But I actually don't know how that works. Never use it, it's just not worth it. Is it like a very panic thing? That useless, eh? <laughs> Duly noted. Also, not sure why I shied away from the fight. I literally just improved my weapon. Like, I wonder if I can kill these bats now. Ah, oh, just shy of instant. That's unfortunate. Slightly reduced terror at 13. Or... Put him into the pot. And that gains terror, unfortunately. But, hey. Supplies. But, duly noted, they are slight terror reduction for when I need that. Mm 
making our way somewhere to the north. Probably to find Mount Palmer's then. Da 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 da. A rift. The storm bones. What the fuck is that? There's a giant butterfly looking thing. I don't like that. I just want to find Mount Mon Palmerston. Is that Mount Palmerston? No, it's Codex. No, whatever, we're here. Might as well stop by. Racket Crow is southeast. I don't know what the Ragged Crow is, but sure, we'll stop by. Maybe we can buy some fuel there. There's a what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? that fucking thing and go on about our day. Chapel of Lights. I don't really want to eat whatever he's giving me. Freaks me out. 
so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Sounds like an interesting aggro tool. Okay. Crossbound. The tireless mechanic. Do we need mechanic? I don't think so. Fuel efficiency though, that'd be nice for the way back. Supply, fuels, lost 10 terror. Sweet. Thank you, Frostbound folks. Okay, no reason to go in there, so it's not. You can buy a tireless mechanic and use his fuel efficiency to get back home. Sure, why not? Yeah, I know, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> That's the issue, and I only have three left. Fucking hell. 
I don't reckon it's like all the way to the north, right? About as equally north as Codex. So you're telling me that it might just be all the way fucking to the east? Sucked in. Cool. Thanks, folks. Got a little bit of fuel back from them. Slows down the engines big time. Fuck. Hi, Viking son. Yeah, it's okay, dearie. I didn't want to wake you up. We made some decent progress. I was only going to fucking tell her about dockable locations. Jeez. Where the fuck is my armor stuff? Ooh, what the fuck is
underwater some distance to the east. Don't care about that. Palmerston's Reach? Where? Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold on! It hit! It hit! There we go, Mount Palmerston. Fuck yeah! The music is playing. Fucking hell, it only took half of a goddamn year. Mount Palmerston. You hid us, you hid from us for a long ass time, you bastard. Dig among the ruins. Cheap fuel. And zoop! I don't want that. Alright, we will take some. Yeah, I'll take all of that. We can't sell our ship here, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, we'll, we'll dig. My voice is very quiet compared to the game's music. Ah, damn it, I changed that before. Still? Alright. How about now? I know there's not music playing at the moment, but we'll test. Dig among the ruins. We are fortunate! And we've uncovered an outlandish artifact and gained terror. A cellar full of bones. Fun. Didn't really want all that terror, but I guess that's kind of a good thing. Uh, okay. Also, we're gonna have to come back to Mount Palmerston at some point because we need seven zoop for, I think, a thousand something. A thousand. That's actually a pretty good deal. Now, straight back to London, I think. Maybe take a stop at Frostfound to get some nice terror reduction. Fire up the engines, and here we go. Doot, 
I am doing things for the merchant venture, yeah. I haven't actually done any of his tasks, but I'm considering it. Wait, hold on. Are you stuck? You're stuck, aren't you? Oh, fuck, you can fire backwards. Okay, we're going. <laughs> For the record, Viking, we beat a very high power craft earlier when we weren't- Oh, it's facing me? I thought it was facing the other way! <laughs> That's a very strange ship design. <laughs> but we actually fought a 180 health ship in one earlier, and we met the pirate poet. And uh, we got 400 uh, echoes for that. Did that totally unupgraded too, so that was pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of that. Alright, now. Stop by here. Give me some terror reduction, please, dears. They're devil pirates? Oh, that's cool. do not apply to their ships. <laughs> Actually. Okay, don't really want to do this, but we're gonna go stop by the Abbot Horizon. Because, if I recall, we have a lot of fragments and we kind of need that for something there. Set them out of fuel now. Oh, I believe you. I'm absolutely positive that they're ridiculous things. Like, I saw that giant moth in the mist, and I, I didn't want to fuck with that thing. Horizon. Ah, fuck. We got shafted again. For reference, we did a short test file just to make sure this worked. And there's a 50% chance to get something different here. And I got this twice. Oh well. Seventy-seven fragments. We get a hunter's eye. We're conducting to the stars. 
Gather intelligence, poor report. This doesn't look like a good thing to do. Yeah, it gains terror and a fragment. Ugh. Do not like 39 terror. Okay, we have decent fuel now though, so I'm feeling pretty good about getting home. Hey, it's still it's still money. Sapphires. I ain't gonna complain about it. Take a quick stop at the Chapel of Lights. Pretty sure we already got the port report for it. Chapel of Lights. Low risk challenge or eat of the Chapel's bounty, which I don't trust for a goddamn moment. I gave us a secret. And 10 terror? Fucking hell. Oh, and we got cannibalism. God damn it. Uh, okay. Not liking the uh, fucking five. I mean. No, it's not like we're the ones who killed them, but still. Something I'd like to avoid. Fuck, two supplies. God damn it. Shit, that sucks. Yeah, I know, game. Thank you. I'm not happy about how high my terror is either. You really need to buy supplies. Like... to risk an 18% chance challenge. Close the map. Okay. Uh, hmm. One moment, please. 
Some of the sea devs? Hello? What the fuck was that? Okay. Let's. I'm, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna turn it off full screen. See if that somehow helps. That's it. Get the regular loading. No! It's just fucked! What? I I have never seen a game break in a way that I cannot fucking play it after a restart. Upset. What? I can't escape. I'm pressing every button on the keyboard. Music still plays. You can see that background tile slowly moving. works. What? Like, I'm not sure what I'm expecting here, like... Okay, okay. Loading the autosave fixed it. I'm not sure how I managed to corrupt a save file. I don't think so. I think it was corrupted because I was picking up the jellyfish 
and I ju was opening the map at the same time. I think that's what broke it. I mean, I saw the saving icon, so I figured maybe. wasn't food like I was hoping, but... I, I, I saw that a little too late, but... <laughs> yeah, probably should have avoided that. That seems like it was no issue. Something awaits you? Yeah, I know how that works. Really, all we have to do is get to Hunter's Keep. Because then we get a free supply, we should be fine. Also, the salt lions. Maybe we can buy food here. We also avoided the vent that killed people. Is not animated? What is this cursed shit? Okay, how about now? Did I fix the boy? Is he is he speaking once more? Alright, perfect. Yeah, I accidentally deafened myself on Discord and the method I use requires that to work. Pretty cool. We are almost back. Hopefully we will make it to, uh, yeah, I think we're going to make it to the Hunter's Keep. Probably not before this bit of food expires. I believe you mean some salty stone. Ain't that kind of sacrilegious to be mining a religious thing? Oh, fuck. What was that? A 
Well, this could give us food, but we're kind of like right there. Yeah, what's one terror? Oh, no, we even get here before we max out hunger, too. That's pretty nice. Took a little bit of hobble damage, which is unfortunate. Hunter's Keep. We already made the report. Lucy, thank you for the... There we go. 44 hunger just gone. An extra bit of supplies. <sighs> Distant memories of shore. Awesome. All right, that was a bit of a worrisome trip, not gonna lie, but we made it out. <clears throat> Killing stuff shrinks your terror? That's pretty cool. By how much, though? Alright, we got a lot of things to work on. Souls delivered, give me my goddamn payment. I'm done dealing with you, I don't need... We... We delivered some shit. We made a little bit of money, got some supplies, but I don't want to be dealing with you anymore. Ah, home sweet home. London. Pretty good. Ah, let's visit the Admiralty first. Also, hi baby. How are you doing? Ah, I can't do that. I need to improve my lodgings first. I'm sorry, baby. Read the morning paper to get some news. Just keep Mount Palmerston. Then here we go. That's a new one. Forty echoes. Chapel of Lights. Mm. Avid Horizon. <gasps> a visit from Mr. Sachs. Frost found. Thank you. Codex, the salt lines, and that is it. Don't really need to hire more crew. Can look at the rose market. Maybe sell some of those.
The bazaar has always taken an interest in place. Yeah, I saw that. Not quite sure what it means, though. <laughs> I mean, it's probably because the material can be used for something. Hmm. Yeah, we can sell our caskets of sapphires here. It's probably a better deal somewhere else, but don't not really all that keen on it right now. That's fair enough, Con. Maybe the curator wants to see this. Or the scholar. The lamentable relic. I have three of these, show them one. Is that why romantic literature is on, like, the list of things that's banned? Also, the, uh, outlandish artifact. Do you reckon it's worth selling that to this lad? Or can you use... Can I use that elsewhere to better effect? I only have one, yeah. Alright. Fair enough, Con. <laughs> Dry dock. I see. I'll just keep on to them for now. shape. Hmm. Oh yeah, also if I can, since you just got in the stream relatively recently, 
here are our officers for this run. Uh, not much to do here at the moment. Oh yeah, we got Mimi's daughter. She's not the most... ...useful, because I got the other guy, too. And I do really like fuel efficiency. But engine power is definitely good in a pinch. <laughs> A representative currency of the bazaar. So, literally just <laughs> U.S. dollars? <laughs> oh, that's fair enough, actually. That is kind of weird. We have seven secrets. We can probably... if it was an esoteric currency. Right, hold on, we're gonna upgrade a little bit. I feel like getting some more iron. That's the wrong person. There we go, 45 iron. How many secrets do we have left? Five? Okay, you know what, we'll do two more. Cool. Uh, we still have a lot of terror. Where's that, like, relaxation event? I suppose we'll stop by the, uh, uh, what was I going to say? We will stop by the nice lasses, get some recovery there from Lucy. Hey, what? No, I'm not, I'm not cheating. I'm visiting the girls so I can get some food and some terror recovery. Karma's <laughs> not like that. I'm not going to cheat. Oh, right! I'm dumb. Because I guess the whole prospect of it was... Yeah, yeah. Why 
are there two of them? Okay. Hey, Lucy, you want to reduce our terror a little bit, please? Thank you. I'm sorry, that's just... Explore the house alone now. What? What was that? The Hunter's Keep thing is... gone? Oh, it's back. Can't I fire on you? You're in my range. The crawling stars? I don't like 50-50s. This could be a really big terror game. Fuck it. Cool. I, I don't know why I can't attack. Something is really weird right now. My weapon was acting so weird throughout that entire inter exchange. There we go. Back here. I, I don't want to mess with the maid. Uh, sorry. Please get caught. Okay. back. And I'm getting terrible. Oh, fuck. They talked about this in the beginning. Adjusted the audio like five different times. Uh, 
I'm sad. I would have wanted to restore the key. Can you guys tell me what happened since I completely failed the mirrors challenge? Or the, uh, the mirrors. Oh, it is mirrors. The mirrors challenge. since you weren't here for the beginning. Yeah, London was stolen by bats and now it's underground. <laughs> No, they, nothing that Viking said was wrong. That was completely correct. That's what happened. Go to the... Not the shipyard. We have this. Hmm. What was I supposed to be doing? Uh... I'm still really upset. <laughs> Sixty hull. Good. Fully repaired for a decent price. Okay, what am I doing? Hungry. Hmm. 
Maybe I should get some ice cream. I know I had like a little bit earlier, but mm. okay. You know what? Compromise. I'm not gonna get ice cream since I kind of already had some. I'm gonna get like a little square of dark chocolate. Give me like five seconds to walk across the room to get that. A moment. Ah. I'm back. And yes, dark chocolate. It's good. Shut up. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's see what we're doing. Mm. Okay, we should really get the mooder salt. So let's go do that before we get sidetracked by 70 other things. Well, I guess there's nothing really wrong with getting sidetracked. Basically, yeah. Yeah, fall in London, sunless sea, then sunless skies. Okay, I can beam those guys pretty easily now. Where are we? Oh, we're right. right here, back right Yeah, this is a huge underground lake because there's no there's no waves if you noticed the entire thing is perfectly still Captivating treasure.
that's one of the colors done. Ooh, a thousand echoes. Where do I sell that? <clears throat> Whoa. Salt's curse? Bruh, I already took you. I literally helped this guy already. He is on my crew. <gasps> Motherfucker, okay, where do I go to get this curse removed? I think I saw it mentioned earlier in one of the places. Hold on. Bitch! Now I have a bunch of terror, too. Mm. I think it was down here somewhere. Mm -hmm. No, it's Wither, because that's it's the place where they can still... They can actually save the ship without it being a question. Here we go, right here. <clears throat> I need seven secrets? Seven secrets. Really? What the fuck? That's so bullshit. That's so many. Just to get a curse lifted? What the fuck? Also, that's a life bird. Probably shouldn't fuck that. Can I? I wonder. It's probably not a good idea to fight this thing with the slowness, too. No, let's not do that.
Maybe if I can just cheese it like this. Walt moves fast, okay. Holy shit, that thing moves fast. What the fuck? Okay. I really want to kill that life bird, but I don't think I have the firepower to do so. wonder. Could I like... Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, not as good an idea as I thought. I'm probably going to die here. So we're going to just leave.
that was. Ooh, got him first. Haha! <laughs> Suck my dick. Okay. There we go, Con. I'll take a little bit. What? 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 How did I lose crew? Is it because I took damage after half health? Probably. That was not worth 50, okay. Well, it's repeatable, so that's cool at least, I guess. Explore. Lose a little bit more terror, cool. And we out. One of my TAs just sent me an email <laughs> responding to a message I sent, <laughs> like, several days ago, and the <laughs> requirement is long since passed. I'm like, hey, can I leave halfway through to go to this other review session? <laughs> that was, you know, two days ago. <laughs> she responds a half hour ago. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that really I am upset that's very upsetting that a single choice can just hey you don't have kids anymore fuck you
Fuck you, Briss Companion. Stop coming to my ship. I don't want you. I went to Wither and forgot to get that goddamn meter salt again. God damn it. Uh... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I continue to do that? Uh, damn it all. I just keep on forgetting to get the damn meter salt to advance the quest line for my father's bones. I go, and do you know how many times I've gone to Venderbite and I've forgotten to get it? Like, at least four separate times. Con is dumb. Con is very dumb. Ah. <laughs> I'm also very upset that they killed my kid, but like, what the fuck? Fuck you, Salt. Ugh. I mean, you're right, but <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy about it. Uh, okay. Where can I sell that? thing I got the 1000 <coughs> pardon me Naval supply. ow something just cracked in my arm that was not supposed to crack oof To the university fair? Okay, hold on. Where are you? There you go, captivating treasure. 1,000 echo. Sweet. We don't exactly need the house anymore. Yeah, I know it's still really good for terror reduction. I'm gonna get it, but I'm upset. <laughs> also, if I purchase this, does this mean I don't need to, uh... How do you call? Uh... Pay every night I sleep? I need a hundred. <laughs> what the fuck? I was hoping that maybe you wouldn't have to pay to sleep, cause you know, you own the house. Yeah, I get that, but it's still a hundred echoes for a night. What the fuck? I just paid ten times that to get the thing. I paid ten times just to get the option to spend a hundred? Really?
This is late game stat leveling. You can write a will. This is probably worth doing at some point. So I don't have to get the townhouse again. Should I do it now or do it when I have more money? Do it soon. Alright, that's fair enough. I want to get a little bit more, you know, spending money. This is true. I've come very close to dying already. <laughs> okay. Let's think here. We can already retire if we wanted to. <laughs> oh, excuse me. If I write a will now, then retire. Well, define baggage. Wait, is Salt's curse not gone? I thought it was gone. Pretty sure it said it disappeared after that happened. Maybe impotent? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright. We are going straight to Vendor Bite to get Muter Salt. Please yell at me if I don't. Like, just scream really loudly. Obviously, I won't be able to hear you, but you can type a lot. Oh, that that does suck. That I can't have kids. I do really want a kid. That's so fucked up that they just say nope. You fucking pissed off this one guy. It didn't happen to remove the curse in time. So no, nope, we just no kid, no wife. Fuck you. I, I, I think that's really bullshit. I, I, it kind of pisses me off, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, what the fuck did I do? I, I said no to a single person. That doesn't feel like a very worthy reason to just not... not be able to have kids. Also, why do I instantly go into red when I'm in the fog? I have good... Veils. You think the fog is nice? Oh, hey, fog's gone. Are, are you sure there isn't a worse thing they, they can do to me? Because pissing off the gods off it doesn't seem like a good thing to do. Okay. Um. 
and support. Give me the fucking mute or salt, please. Ba -da 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 -da. Hello? Hello? Where where is it? Oh, it's in Wither. Oh, okay. Condom, pardon. Uh, let's just go on. Why am I going to Wither again? Oh, yes! Fuck! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? I can't make this shit up! Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that Viking can confirm that no, I'm just usually like this. Also, Christ, this is slow. That that kind of sucks. Prevents you from resting. Jesus, suck. Well, Storm's Curse might not be terrible then, if fog counts as a weather condition, because sometimes it's helpful, but snow can saw it off. I'll try. Get a little bit of fragments. Right. Muter s Sodding hell. What the fuck? What the fuck? Goes for some half reason. Why 
Where the hell can I get Z stories? How many do I have? I only have one! I need five! Oh my god. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. Gonna get a codex report. Ooh. We've learned our lesson from last time. Stay the fuck away. Shoot it once as a warning. Codex, port report, boom. Hmm. That's kind of weird that you can only get it from that one thing. Are you sure there's no other way to get... Stone's Curse. <laughs> Just fuck around and Frost found long enough until all three of them curse you. <laughs> If I need, like, four more Z-Stories, I mean, I think I can get Z-Stories. I don't know, I know, the only for sure no way I know is the lifeboat. No, nah, the light boat, pardon me, not the lifeboat. Take a stop by the salt lines. Oh. Oh, that's a big boy. Flares you got, bro. Fuck it. Really? That range. Really? Okay. Really, I thought for sure. All 
right, we were both tr trying to do the same thing. Okay. The pirate poet again? What's the difference between these two options? I feel like this one she's gonna hold one of my guys hostage. Hey, she's they're actually kind of nice. Another 400 echoes. Which again, well worth fighting them, I do believe. Terror is 54. A little bit rough, but I do believe that's actually kind of good, because there's a special thing that happens in London when you come back with more salt lions. I can pray to salt. Okay, have a good one, Jagoon. Have a good night. Uh, how many units of cargo do I have up right now? I have 20. So, are they gonna pay me back for this shit when I get there? They better. some terror. Cool. Still have 50, which is good, because we need 50 for that thing. Oh, this is a lot. I don't know, it's not that far. Peachy! Peachy! It's so good to see you! <gasps> How are you guys doing? <laughs> Thanks for the raid, man! 
Or less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Hey, Peachy. Okay, uh, we're going a little off track. We gotta lose me. Oh, that's another pirate. We're gonna try to avoid them. We are playing Sunless Sea. How are you guys doing? Oh, shit. They don't see us. They don't see us. <laughs> Just keep on going. Just keep on going. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Peachy? Home waters. Alright. Cool. We'll make one stop at the little lighthouse. The phone one. Should be around here somewhere. There you are. Yes, I know we're in long fuel game. Yeah, Viking. You know this game. Is this thing always right here? Because the text makes it seem like they're a lot further from home than normal. Yep, raids are pretty clogged, not gonna lie. <laughs> No, this light ship. They say far from home is in the thing, but it's like right here. Also, I actually need to go in a little bit. No, not Hunter's Keep, the light ship. What the hell is that? So there's multiple of them, this one just happens to have appeared right outside of London. <laughs> oh, that one's always there. Okay. Uh, Rage said that earlier, but I didn't remember seeing it when I watched you play. So I'm like, really? Just wanted to double check. <laughs> Doc. I don't have anything to hide. No menaces? I need 50 I am leaving. I, I literally can't. I'm so upset about that. You mind just, uh, thank you. <laughs> Good enough. Thank you. Deliver the Sphinx Stone. Yo. That's just... Good deal? What? I can just repeat that? I assume that the Sphinxes aren't always so close to uh, London, because that's a that's a hefty price. That's 300. I mean, I guess you can only do it carry one set at a time, but still, that's really nice. Some 
increase in his. New recruit. Adventurous. Iron and veils. Nope. A few times. So there is a limited amount of times you can do it. I'll just take one. Ah, I see. I, th I thought that seemed like too good a deal. <laughs> What else is there to do? In London. Our multi stuff's done. Did the new recruit thing. I think I might take a nap at home. Because I want to reduce some terror and see what the new terror reduction now is. I also need to buy some fuel. Cool. That's all good. Z stories. Hmm. Those are a hundred echoes each. Interesting. These are ten echoes. <laughs> Seven searing enigmas and <laughs> <laughs> the scholar just fucking dies. Uh, let's see what else is there. Rose Market. Hmm. Nothing here I can actually do. Oh, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. There we go, pardon me. Um, we could buy a better weapon. We currently have this one. 12 damage. 12... 24? Oh, that's torpedoes. This is an aft weapon, I don't think we have an aft slot yet. Deck weapon. So this is 15 damage versus 12 damage. Does it warm up faster? Wait, wait, let's see. This is a forward weapon, not forward. 15, 15, 4. Nope, it's just a straight, straight upgrade. Relatively small upgrade, but an upgrade. I don't think I really care about that. Are these also weapons? These are all four. Oh, here's a deck weapon. 18. That's a pretty sizable upgrade. However, it's also 900, which is all of our money. Hmm. It certainly seems like a good early game money maker. <laughs> we have so many casts of mushroom wine that people have just given to us. We need to sell these somewhere. Yeah, the whole cost of 20 is definitely annoying. But what can you do? Four secrets. Hmm. We need three more Z stories. All right. We have back to the little lighthouse. We get five terror reduction and a new Z story. 
That makes it so we only need two more. There's gotta be a more interesting way to get Z stories, but I just don't know at the moment. Down in Elder Continent. So, just go south? Middle South. Sure, we can go that way. We haven't been. Uh, relatively. Yeah, we're okay. Let's do it. Watch out for parrots. Duly noted, I will watch out for parrots. Oh, okay, I, understood. Parrots are bad. Something changed on Mutton Island. Here's the port report. submarine before we can do that. Labyrinth of Eels. Fun. What the fuck is that thing? Okay. Gonna not fuck with that. Rather not fuck with a shark that's roughly the same length as my ship. Just generally not a good idea. A bound shark. Yeah, it did look like it was in bondage gear. Don't know why it was, but it was. Four reverse, four reverse. Shit, shit, I forgot anyway. Oh, we're getting hit here. Damn. Three, two, one. Fuck! Okay, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. 
god. Some distance to the north. Ooh. Saint Haven. On a long, lonely desert beach. Hey, got a muffin. How you doing? Indeed, this is weird. They're both saying they stole it from each other. Right now I'm seeing support the authority or support the rebel army. Alright, have a good night, Cuddle. Go go get some more rest. Hmm. Well, of course I'm going to attempt to broker a peace. Idealism doesn't help. I chose to help the rats. And I'm going very fast is more because I can't stand reading so much text at once. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa, they give us a ton of fuel. Albino Tinkerer. Forge Peace and Optimistic. Cool. So I just helped <laughs> form a new aisle. <laughs> Oh, cool. Well, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> cool. Oh wait, we should look at what our... Officers... Oh, they're a mascot. He's not super good. Um, I'm be real. But that was certainly an interesting thing. Oh. Are you? Whoa, what the fuck? I can't even hit it. Okay. Oh, there you go. Now it's showing up. I'm maneuvering the fuck out of these guys. Oh, I, I didn't mean to press that so early. <laughs> Perish, con.
Two supplies. Oh, well, that certainly doesn't seem like a very seaworthy vessel. <laughs> or I guess Z-worthy, pardon me. Parrots, parrots, parrots. Multiple swarms of parrots. to the right. Yep, 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 yep. Don't go to the growing heights. I just want a damn port. Fuck. Why are you coming towards me? Go away. Oh, hey. Anything, but why am I in the red with terror? My lights on. Shoreline? Damn. Okay. Cool. I hope there's some place I can reduce my damn terror. It's getting kind of out of hand. going up so quickly. Adam's way is to the east. There we go. <sighs> okay, port at last.
What? Shops. We okay, yeah, we can sell a line here. It's only three three echoes more here. <laughs> That's kinda weak, not kinda wide, come on. Yeah, the wine. We can also sell the parabola linen we have. Should we sell this? Is this a good place for the linen? Ah, I see, I see. I think we can buy coffee beans and some for a profit. Or foxfire candles. Oh, I'm not gonna go all the way out of my way for the best price. Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about it for a while then. I will not be under the Z for a while. How about goods I can buy here? Anything worth it? The Foxfire Candles or the Coffee Beans? Ba, 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 da, da, da. Coffee sells for 44. Ooh, that's quite good then. Yeah. Do you remember what the Foxfire candles are? Because I know they're being sold for 40. Oh, they only sell for 20? Oof. Alright, well, let's get a shit ton of coffee beans. What's our hold space right now? We got 23. Let's just fill it up. Like... That's what? That should be a hundred-ish profit. If I'm doing that math right. 33 in vendor blight. Interesting. Not something I'm going to commit to right now, but good to know. Okay, so that's Adam's way. Cool. Yeah, but still, six profit instead for each of those is better. <laughs> 
Ooh, yeah. I'm thinking about how I want to get back to London. Maybe I'll do like a little up and around type thing, but I'm not sure what I'm going to run into. Our supplies are looking pretty good though, so let's not think about it too much and just have an interesting journey and try to avoid fog if possible. This looks mildly dangerous. Alright. I'm just gonna ignore that. Prisoners, honey. Okay. Looking a little bit more square. Probably wasn't the best idea to engage there. But that did actually reduce her terror a decent amount. Pantera, sweet. Welcome back, thank you. I found this mangrove college place. Poor 
Trucker Court. And some supplies. Nice. Port Ciso. Cool. And we are off. Oh yeah, I'm not exploring them right now. I don't have Foxfire candles. Station 3. That's good. Okay, it was a hundred echoes. Station. This kind of just shows that we're back in friendlier waters. Seeing one of these boys. Sisterhood. Abbey Rock. I'm going to turn off the weapons. Battle nuns, love our battle nuns. Fair price, not a good price. I mean, twenty echoes for a supply—that's that's normal. <laughs> port report, of course. We can offer them the hunting trophy that we got. Should we offer a gift for the battle nuns? 
They're pretty cool. <laughs> Terror. Oh, and they fed us too. Grudging respect. Hmm. And that got us Stone's attention. And I believe that is that. Hold on. Okay, we can hold one more stretch. Gotcha. No, it was a surprise that time, not a strange catch. Eee. The nuns are cool, so I'm happy that they're warm enough to us. What's this place? Field Haven. I have not parked here. <coughs> so I'll take... I'll take a quick peek in. Lights off, something's here. The Shepherd Isles. Oh, it's these guys. Tails, Port Report. And that's basically it. We could try to fight that, but we're kind of low on health, so we're going to not do that. Running a little bit low on fuel. Hmm. So that's not great. We'll try to conserve using the lamp lights as we head back. just in time. Oh, that's a big shot.
place is so cool. Alright, fuck. Rest in peace, guy. Or gal, but still. We got the port report. <laughs> It's just been a lot of terror game. Con? Yes, that is me, Con. Go back to London, I'll do a couple things, and then I'll be done. It was kind of late. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another stream of this over the weekend. Some cargo. Mostly just. Ah, oh, never mind, actually. Looks like that's just stuff we used. Good lord. Oh. It was definitely a good break from getting my ass kicked by fucking big moth. Then I'll be cracking back at that again soon enough. <laughs> My mic quality is bad? Really? 
Don't worry about nightmares. Is my mic quality really that bad? <laughs> Let's see who needs to get on. The Exile. The first officer that increases mirrors and pages. Pages is pretty nice, but we already have a first officer and I like them quite a bit. Mirrors and veils. Hmm. Mirrors and pages. That might actually be kind of decent. Hmm. Well, let's just get a Zaylor since we took a bit of an L there. Alright. What else there to do in London? We can just tour around here, get some terror reduction. Get some recent news. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some repairs. But first, let's go to the Admiralty's office. <laughs> Once again, getting station three is hilarious. Walk up into area fifty one, document it all, and hand it right back to them. <laughs> Happy room. <laughs> they don't believe us for this at all. <laughs> Understandable. Vanguard College. Quaker's Heaven. Is there more in the weirs? I think we're supposed to be doing something for them right now. I'll have to double check. Uh, we don't need to hire on more crew right now. Dry dock. 30. If it's only 30, we can probably just do... Ah. A little under, but it's okay. What else is there to do in London? Rose Market, I don't believe I have anything that they need. You want either 7 Zoop or 21 Spider Silk. Thick Zoop is a bit of a better deal. Going to ignore Mr. Sachs for now. I think we're gonna... Alright, well first off, we're gonna write up a well. Because at this point, it's just a good thing to have. Now with that, we're going to spend a night in the townhouse. Yeah, 15 terror. Nice. Oh, I'm sure C would hate it there. <laughs> now we have a bunch of stuff we can sell. We go to the shops. We can sell this stuff for 70. Sell the prisoner's honey here for 20. 
It's probably worth more somewhere else, but eh. we can just boop. <laughs> if you're really lo that lazy, you just get a bunch of it from here. <laughs> Shintak. I'll just sell that too because I don't really want it. Ah, Sorrow Spiders. What fun. I'm sure they've earned their name. This <laughs> name cannot be sold. <laughs> I mean, you, you can literally sell souls. Ain't that close enough? <laughs> oh, that's fun. He said, lying. Very angry. <laughs> I think getting this Corvette would be pretty nice. Finally give us a forward weapon slot and auxiliary. I think that's probably a nice go next goal. Not to mention that better hull capacity. Double the weight probably isn't a good thing. <laughs> probably mean can hold more people on our ship. Always nice. Especially because I think we're getting pretty close to our limit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can only hold one more. We have seven secrets, so we might want to upgrade our iron a little bit. Hmm. There's a lot of things that didn't show us. Hmm. Okay. We are going to talk to our gunnery lad. We're going to upgrade iron three times so it's at a flat 50. Because I like those numbers. Hmm. Not sure what else I should be working on. Maybe hearts? I do like the idea of being affected less by terror. Let's talk to her a little bit. And now we can actually... Give her hmm. <laughs> I see you have some strong opinions on them, and I'm sure I will too. Hmm. 
Do you have enough Z stories for that salt? No, we need two more. We can get one once we leave the port and go to that lifeboat or life thing. But can't do anything else. So we're gonna upgrade hearts a couple of times because I just don't like terror. It's annoying. We have a decent bit of money, and I'm hoping to up upgrade to that Corvette soon. Because, I mean, look at that. 200 hull. Unfortunately, hull capacity isn't that great. But, hey. I, I, I'll have a forward weapon slot. That's what matters. And this just doesn't seem good. I don't know why you'd pick this. <laughs> and this is just <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Let's, before I forget, we'll just double check, make sure there's nothing else to do. We already talked to you. I already spent time in the lodgings. Did this. Did that. Anything here? Nope. Okay. We go over to the lifeboat. We'll get our fourth Z story. Once we have that, uh, probably should go to bed. <laughs> I mean,. <laughs> It's kind of 2.30 a.m. where I am. So we'll get this fourth Z story. And then... Uh, yeah. Next time, we will get the fifth. Go get that meter salt and advance the quest line. Speak to the crew. We have four Z stories. So yeah, uh, I guess here's the, what do you call, uh, bleh. Yeah, make sure to follow so you actually see when the next stream goes up, though I will post, you know, the normal stuff on Twitter telling you when I'm going to stream. <sighs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. I, there was definitely some moments and Salt is kind of a bitch. But, overall, pretty fun. Look forward to getting that meter salt, getting the new ship, and just exploring some of the right side of the map. Maybe I'll do a second stream of this before I go back to Pantheon of Halloween because this was actually more relaxing than just, you know, that. Though, I'll have to beat that eventually. It's just, how long of a break can I take? I, I can't take more than two streams off because I don't want to get rusty again and, and start the process all over. But I'll deal with that later. I hope you all have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Gone. <laughs> <laughs>